Hey guys, in this video, I just want to give you my two cents about a Dallo and maybe more on like when you should be using it. Um, like, can you afford using it? Although I really like a Dallo, it's a free tool. Like with a free version itself, you can do a lot of things, um, especially if you just need a very simple application. The free version itself is already enough for you to, you know, start a fresh app. Like even a clone of Instagram and Facebook can already, um, can be, created in a Dallo using free version. Um, if you go into the pricing details of a Dallo, by the way, if you haven't got a chance to play around with a Dallo, I have some few tutorial how to get started. Just check on my link description below for the playlist. So yeah, so if you go into the pricing details, you'll see that these are the free version startup and th these are like the um, series of a version. Um, if you go into the full plan, what's interesting with this is you can already have a like an application, like even though you cannot publish your app into the into Google Store or Google Play, you can use this, let's say if you click on the view app, you can use this link for them to download. So you don't need to subscribe to their paid version if you're just using it for internal purposes. Like obviously there will be a Dalo budge and a Dalo link on it. Um, if you want to make it commercial, you need to, you can, you always had an options to subscribe to their paid version, which is not that too expensive like starter is $36 um, $36 yeah but if you um, open to the monthly it's a bit expensive $45 um, and then the only disadvantage I think that I could um, that I've seen in Adalo that's why I stopped using Adalo I mean I can still use Adalo in, in this application and just limit the feature but I already know if I'm gonna be creating an app uh, a no-code app I know when and where I should be using a Dallo, okay? So with a free and starter and professional, like professional itself is already $52 for annual. Let's just jump into monthly because mostly of us just can afford monthly. So for the professional, it's already $65 per month. You have an ability to publish two application, which means you can, if you're gonna be white labeling it, you can publish two custom domains and put it in the into the Apple App Store. Um, it also has some unlimited actions, so you can have you know a lot of like um, database and stuff, which is also available in the free version. It also has some integration um, in Stripe, which is already available in free version. Again, if your application is just super simple, feel free to use Adalo. It's very good for internal use. Um, Starter also, it's like it has a Stripe option, and here. Um, external database collection is so important. Google Maps is really great, like especially if you're using maybe a booking or maybe like a say, like an Uber, like clone type of an Uber. These are so important, this Google Maps and external database collection as well. Let's say you want to, to have, you want to fetch your like database into, um, you know, using a REST API and stuff. So this is not available to the starter plan. But I, I don't think you really need this much for external database um, because the database collection itself is already robust. Like it's already good for you to 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 get all the data that you need in your application. But it's a, a good thing. Like it's an additional feature that you can take advantage if you open to their professional plan. But what I just don't like with using, what I just don't like with Adalo is it doesn't have an option for me to set up the collection API, which is so important when you are working on with the automation. So for example, here, um, the limitation of Adalo is it doesn't allow you. So one of the limitation is hopefully they're going to figure it out on their components. There's no option to add a time. Um, there is an option in the components to have a, let me just jump into the here. Okay. There is an option to add in a components for a date and time or a date only, but you cannot have an option to have a time components. Also, what I'm trying to create here in the um, add rooster is has an ability to add a recurring setup. So let's say if I'm gonna add a schedule for a particip um, specific participant, I want it to be have an options to, you know, to have um, weekly or fortnightly or monthly. Now, don't get me wrong, I was able to figure this out by the help of a third party application called make.com. Um, I set up this scenario here, um, which basically watch the records of a Dallo and then um, set up a condition statement. If it is a weekly, then it will generate a weekly 
like it will multiply every seven days and if it's fortnightly it will multiply for every four days um so this formula actually works i have a separate video for that but the only disadvantage really um is the api itself where you can you can only do this if you set up a connection into your adalo um, into your make.com so you need to connect your adalo api to make.com in order to 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 work the sequence in order to work the workflow um, I'm using the free trial of the business plan in Adalo. And if you go in here again to the pricing details of Adalo, let's go back. Adalo, oh, here. Okay, Adalo pricing. It doesn't have an option for even in a starter plan or professional plan to enable the collection API. Obviously, I'm still, I have an option to connect my API because I am in a free trial. This free trial is about the um what do you call that to the teams which you need to spend at least 200 dollars per month to enable the collection api and to notification api notification api is also really important like it's very useful like here use notification able to trigger app notification from other services like make or adalo but collection api is my thing zapier even though it's free in adalo um it has a very like you know that zapper costs you extra extra money as well um which is i mean this font library it's not that really complicated like you can always use the normal thing push notification version control um it's also important but not so geological i mean it's so important but like if you're just doing basic application you you, you can just you know um undo the stuff the stuff in few steps then you don't really need some version history um but if for large projects obviously version history is so important geological um let's say in a super trucker what i trying to actually accomplish there is i want to have like a support worker can be on, can only clock into the um, premises if they are in the premises so this geolocation would work um to solve the application problem so but you need to subscribe at least to their professional plan so if just weigh in if you have if you can afford, um, if it's fine with you to pay at least $65 for a geolocation per month or $200 if you want to have an automation, then try to go in with Adalo. It's very simple to, you know, create your application. Like you can do it in just a minute. Um, otherwise, you can try to use the traditional like a, a vanilla way, like using Next.js or whatsoever. But yeah, at least I already know when i should be using adalo for the next project so yeah i hope you find this valuable and um i was able to give you a guideline and advice before you get you start working on your adalo app and have a great day again if you don't have any problem with the budget this 200 dollars per month is like the feature is so monster it can really expedite your process um instead of like just purely use or work on the adalo I purely build the app into the Adalo. It it's actually has mostly the feature that you need in order to build a robust application. If you can afford the $200 per month, highly suggest go for it. And by the way, um, the components in Adalo is quite limited at the moment, but they are so proactive as well in adding new features. So I definitely love this company so far. I'm not associated with them but i really started using their application for a few weeks now so far i like it but i'm not going to be using it for for a complex application maybe for a simple application um, for internal use i can use a startup i um, starter or professional but if it involves some workflow and api i shouldn't like if my app if i'm think if my app involves some you know um connection with third-party application then i as i I'll try to avoid a dollar as possible because I don't want to spend $200 per month for, for that. Hope it helps and have a great day.